At this ATM, frustrated citizens get into a fight as they struggle to get the new notes with no certainty of getting them. And at this bank, this woman in protest takes off her clothes, threatening to close a bank account after failing to get cash to spend for her children. Cash shortage sparked by the replacement of 1,000 Naira, 500 Naira and 200 Naira denomination of the Naira notes for the redesigned ones has created scenes of frustration, long queues in banks and ATMs as well as protests across the country. The policy announced in October 2022 was praised by analysts and the president as the country aims to curb money laundering, lower spiking rates of inflation, improve security of the banknotes and mitigate counterfeiting. This change of, of currency, I think uh, there will be people a lot of money. But time has been given from October to December, three months. It's enough whatever money you have to get it changed through a legal system. So I don't know why people are complaining about it. So despite the complaint, there's no going back on the policy? No, no, there's no going back. There's no going back. Three months after, and in spite of a deadline now pushed back to February 10, banks say they don't have enough new currency to swap for the old notes, a crisis which has left people stranded and has forced businesses to close. With barely three weeks before the polls open and frustration going across the country, President Buhari meets with governors of his party. It came to light that during the closed-door meeting, Buhari expressed doubts about the commitment of banks to the success of the policy. He reportedly told the governors he is aware of the distress in the society and will take a major decision in the next seven days. In a statement released after the closed-door meeting, the president is reported to have demanded an undertaking from the CBN that no new notes will be printed in a foreign country, and they in turn gave him assurances that there was enough capacity, manpower and equipment to print the currency for local needs. The statement also reads, some banks are inefficient and only concerned about themselves. Even if a year is added, the problems associated with selfishness and greed won't go away. End quote. The president says he will revert to the CBN and the printing and minting company before taking a decision in the next seven days. He again praises the policy as one that will boost the Nigeria economy. The governors of the governing party told reporters that they came to seek solutions to the cash crunch and petrol shortages plaguing the country. Our request is for the deadline to be shifted, not only shifted, but the old currency should go along with the new currency until the old currency dies a natural death, which is possible. What, would, what did Pres um, President Mohamed Buhari tell you? Did he give you any assurance that he would do that? He said he would look into that. Thank you very much. Sir. What about the petrol scarcity? Did he mention that as well? Yes, we also mentioned that, but he said he's looking into that. President Buhari promises to crack down on sabotage of the policy. In the meantime, citizens bear the brunt of what has been described by analysts as a good policy with poor implementation.